starting in 5 seconds mr chairman sir at the outset i wish to express my sincerest thanks to all the members and the ministers of state for law for their participation in this debate and i take this opportunity of congratulating the honorable member for what i consider his maiden appearance in a debate in this house after taking over the charge of the ministry when i started this debate you must have noticed that i spoke in a very low key i spoke in a low key because i was apprehensive that as my amendments are to curtail the number of members of some states passions may be roused and if passion is roused the purpose of the discussion would be lost i am happy that members approached the debate dispassionately and calmly and in fact we had a very good discussion as i see it on all points my honorable friend criticized the whip system and i understand why he has criticized because it appears that the whip of his party did not permit him to speak in the presidential address debate therefore what he could not speak in the presidential address debate he tried to speak here and though most of what he said had no relevance to the subject matter except referring to my bill once his whole speech was on other subjects therefore i think i need not reply to them as this morning the prime minister has replied to all the points and during the debate on the presidential address there was enough discussion on these points my honorable friend has spotted me but as an extremely intelligent member of the house he has tried to give in a clever way very different political overtone to it he said that the bill should be the first step for increasing the power of the states i beg to differ from him so far as this is concerned because i feel that in a country like ours with so many diversities and separatist forces there must be a strong center and one of the essences or basic features of the reason for which two chambers theory is encouraged as to keep a check on the separatist forces my own view was on which the honorable member deferred that if only some of the states are given too much representation they may upset the balance at some time the bill to give more representation and powers to the states is not welcome as this shall lead to rise of the separatist forces therefore our constitution has laid the basis of strong center in the state interest of unity as such stop